A winter storm moving through our region tomorrow. Those preparations already underway. Thanks for staying with us at 530. I'm Hunter Sowers. And I'm Curtis Mang. The storm expected to bring heavy rain and strong winds. CBS 13's Kayla Moore spent the day with city crews removing and pruning trees. There are over 1 million trees in Sacramento. The city monitors about 100,000 of them. It might be a gorgeous day today, but a storm is on the way. So the Department of Public Works is out here preparing. We have teams of certified arborists that go out and they're doing the tree pruning. They're doing the inspections to make sure that every tree is looked at that's in our inventory. The city lost more than 1,500 trees during last year's storms. I feel like last year was kind of an unprecedented year. I mean, we had 90 mile an hour winds and we don't generally get that up here. Um, I know that this week we're forecasted 40, 45 mile an hour winds, which is still strong enough to blow trees over. Because obviously trees are beloved by people of Sacramento, um, but we need to do the work to make sure that everyone's lives are protected. The city removing this tree on 26th and W streets Tuesday ahead of the storm due to decay. But Gabby Miller says this is something they do on a daily basis to make sure that the health of the trees are like up to shape and make sure that there's not any dying or decaying trees or any limbs that need to be removed to make sure that when we get uh, storms that are coming up that those trees then don't fall and hit in the roads or hit on people's houses. The main thing is just making sure that the trees around your house, right? Your house is supposed to be your safe haven. So if, I mean, the roof's not strong enough to withhold a you know, 20,000 pound tree coming through it. Scott Shaw is a local arborist who says conifer trees like redwoods or pines have shallower root systems. And when the soil gets saturated with rainwater combined with wind, they could be uprooted. He says it's a good rule of thumb to have an arborist evaluate your trees once a year. The city wants to remind everyone to make sure storm drains are clear of leaves and debris ahead of the storm, but that things aren't expected to be quite as damaging. Nothing to the extent of what we saw last year. Actually, right now, um, at this time of the year, most of our leaf drop has already fallen. So if you look at the trees right now, a lot of them don't have leaves on them, which makes them less heavy. If you're concerned about any trees in your neighborhood, the best way to get in contact with the city is 311.